the Mountain Morning Show. I'm very thrilled to be joined by a local winter winner of an international writing contest. It's the Writers of the Future contest. Julie Frost is here in studio with us as one of the winners. Welcome and congratulations. Julie, thank how you. are you this morning? I'm very well, thank Good. you. A pleasure to have you here. You were chosen from a group of eight finalists to earn to not only be featured in an anthology of sorts that this contest is coming out with in a couple of months, but also a trip to Hollywood, kind of an Oscars-like experience, yeah. <laughs> and uh, to attend a gala, right? Yep. Very exciting. So what first introduced you to the written word in the first place? When did you realize, I actually want to write down these ideas and stories? Well, I started off in high school, and then I took a 30-year hiatus. <laughs> And, nice break. <laughs> yeah. And um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer got me back into writing. Oh, I like how you can pinpoint it yeah, exactly I, to I, that. I, <laughs> I started writing fan fiction, and then I decided to branch out into my own original stories. Nice. And I've been going since about 2007. Excellent. And, and what I love about your story, Julie, is that this was your 29th entry, which I think really <laughs> speaks to the spirit of truly pursuing those passions and saying I can do this I want mm -hmm. and not even if you were going to win or not just by being part of the process and kind of to, to create a goal within your mind to contribute to this contest right. I would imagine there was a process each time you entered but this short story that one is called cry havoc mm -hmm. and this is the one that, that finally got in. It is, yeah. Um, it's, it's really interesting because Dave Farland, who is the coordinating judge of the contest, famously hates werewolf fiction. Oh. And, <laughs> and this is a werewolf story. Uh -huh. And uh, it's basically, um, think of it as the Punisher with Frank Castle as a werewolf. Oh. And the Hunters as the Mafia. Nice. And uh, so, I don't, I don't know what actually pinged Dave on this one because I, a, f a friend of mine made the comment, this is the least Writers of the Future story I've ever read. <laughs> You're like, is that a compliment or it not? It is a I'm compliment. Sure. It is a compliment. Because, and he said, but it's so well written. Oh, wow. Um, so, well, yeah, well, yeah, share with me a little bit uh, without giving too much away because it is a short story right. after all. Yeah. A little bit about what we, we delve into with this. Well, Pernavic. basically we open in the morgue with my protagonist um, identifying the body of his last packmate. And that's what you're going to leave us at. That's what Dang I, yeah, I was and, like waiting for yeah, more. That's he, okay. Well, that's and he, he, he goes to the bar afterwards mm -hmm. and um, there's a hunter at the bar raising his glass and a toast. And um, my protagonist decides to take him out. Oh. And we go All right. from there. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll stop it there so we don't yeah. give too much of it away. But it sounds like a, a pretty thrilling process in putting these ideas and concepts together. Where do you get, you, you, you mentioned Buffy, the mm -hmm. Vampire Slayer, so it's kind of got you back, back into it. But as you write these stories and these ideas down, where do you get your inspiration from? Does it just hit you all of a sudden? Do you oh. see something? How does it work? Man, ideas come from everywhere. I have gotten an, a story idea from a glove abandoned in the road. Um, this one came from a writing prompt on a board that I'm a member of, mm -hmm. on a writing board that I'm a member of. Um, I, they, I got a story idea from a, a, a blog post by Ellen Datlow about mouse shows. Um, Everything. They just, you know, you just look at the world around you and go, well, that's really cool, but what if? Mm. And I like that. Yeah. And that leads me to the next question with, as, as a writer, one who has been doing this and going through the process of creating and submitting for a long time, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to those that are just terrified to put their work out there? Because that's a hard thing to do. Those are, it's, I, I would assume that's like a part of you that all of a sudden you're like, here, yep. I hope you like it. Yeah. If not, I hope I'll still love it anyway at yeah. the end. Well, I, I think if you, if you write what you love, 
and you put your whole heart and your passion into it, okay, I've got, I've got a love affair with werewolves. Mm -hmm. I mean, clearly I'm wearing all this werewolf stuff. Is that, is that stuff. a wolf necklace? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, that's so great. <laughs> clearly she does, yes, yes. Yes, and but there's a werewolf on my shirt. And, excellent. You know. Cool. So, so along with that, you so, said you, you, know, you love what you're doing. Mm, if you're yeah. interested if in you it. If you write what you love, then that will come through on the page and other people will love it too. Oh. That seems pretty simple advice, but I think, is that hard to allow yourself to write what you love without trying to see, think, oh, what is the publisher looking for? Oh, what is the contest really? You know what I mean? Like, is it hard to separate this idea of what people want from what you enjoy writing? You know, I mean, poke 20 different writers and you'll get 20 different answers sure. to that. Um, for me, I just, I figure if I love it, then some other publisher will eventually love it as well. Um, getting this thing published was a six year process. Mm -hmm. You know, I put it out, I, I wrote this six years ago and started putting it out, nobody bit. And then finally last year, somebody did. Excellent. Yeah, and let's and, chat about this for a moment. This is uh, Pack Dynamics, mm -hmm. Julie Frost, as you can see, of course, I'm assuming another well, werewolf yes. book. <laughs> <laughs> and so this one, six years in the making, mm -hmm. and then you finally got it picked up. Yeah, uh, Wordfire Press, Kevin J. Anderson, who was one of the judges of Writers of the Future. Mm -hmm. um, he, um, we were at uh, Comic Con. And uh, Larry Correa introduced me to him, and uh, I had talked with Peter Wax, the acquisitions editor, the night before about it, and Larry Correa very kindly said that he would not only blurb it, but also do a book bomb, which is where everybody on Larry's blog gets together on the same day and all buy the book on Amazon. Oh my gosh. Which shoots you way up the, sure, uh, sure. the bestseller list. Wow. So, we hit so number, clearly some fans. Yeah, we hit number 26 in the most competitive category on Amazon. That's that impressive. Day. That was well, amazing. Well, what's this one about? Uh, this one is about a private eye with PTSD and he is thrown face first into a brutal world of werewolves, vampires, and nanotech by a pharmaceutical espionage case gone horribly wrong. You know, all he wants to do is just live his life and recover and, but no. <laughs> and somehow there's werewolves involved, if yeah. you can imagine. <laughs> that sounds like a rough time. Yeah. Well, it sounds like an exciting book and I love how you, you really kind of pursue exactly what you love to write about. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that speaks to what you said before about tips to, to getting yourself out there. Mm -hmm. And this event itself where they, they honor you at this gala, where and when does that happen? Uh, the gala is um, April 10th, and it will be streamed on uh, live online at writersofthefuture.com. And uh, there's also a week-long workshop that goes along with the whole thing where you connect with pros and you know all the judges I mean Tim Powers and Larry Niven and Jerry Purnell and Kevin J Anderson Orson Scott Carden all these luminaries you know uh, Mike Resnick mm -hmm. uh, all these luminaries in science fiction and fantasy are you know there and interacting with you and teaching you stuff about writing and uh, it's it's going to be I, I think I'm more excited about the workshop than I am about actually selling the story. <laughs> well, that I think speaks to the, the real love that you have for what you're doing. You're mm -hmm. always looking to to explore more of the the, the facets that that make writing great, <laughs> you know, in the eyes of whomever that is. But that process is it seems like it's lifelong. Did yeah, you say? Yeah, it really does take ten years to become an overnight sensation. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know, if just keep going, right? You know that that's what you have to do is you just have to keep going through. I mean, this was the fiftieth short story I wrote. Wow! So it's not the first one I've ever had published. This is a contest for amateur writers. I've had mm -hmm. other stories published in semi-pro places that pay, you know, like a penny a word. Sure. <clears throat> but uh, this is a contest for semi-pro and amateur writers so you're competing at a level where you know you send something to say fantasy and science fiction or galaxy's edge or asimovs you're competing with <clears throat> other pro you're you're competing with pros you know you're competing with larry niven and orson scott card and all these other you know people that are way up here and you're still kind of down here but in writers of the future you're competing with other people that are still on your level and this is quarterly yes. right so you can enter and you can go to mm -hmm. writers of the future 
Facebook.com to find yep. out more information. And congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Once again on your win. Have fun out there in Hollywood. Uh, what a great, I think, impetus for, for all of us to kind of pursue things that we love a little bit more because you never know. That's yep. so cool. Thank you Thank so you much. For oh, and where can we get your book at? Uh, Amazon. Okay. Uh, look up Pack Dynamics and look it up under my name because there's another Julie Pack Frost. Dynamics. Yeah, look it under Pack Dynamics Julie Frost because there's another series of Pack Dynamics that's not my book and. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get the right one. Is get what the right one. Saying. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Julie. A pleasure mm -hmm. to have you here. We'll be right back after this commercial break. We have more to share with you, especially from the Utah Olympic Park, the bobsled competition, and more coming at you here on the Mountain Morning Show.